Okay, so here we are back in Maya. Now I've got this big huge viewport right here. Let's say I wanted multiple viewports. There's a couple things I could do. I could go over here to this button, click it, and now I'll have uh, several different viewports with different angles on the scene. This is my perspective view. Let's go ahead and throw something in there so we can see. There you go. So now I have a top view, a front view, and a side view. Uh, this can come in useful during modeling. So we'll keep that in mind, especially if you're modeling something kind of advanced. I like to spend most of my time in the perspective view and I, then I constantly move around to see different angles. Um, but this definitely has its place. You will use it in the future, I guarantee you. So to get back, I could hit this button here. And that switches between the viewports. I could also hit the space bar. And whatever I'm hovering over, that will maximize in the viewport. So if I, maxim if I want the top view, I can go over here and click the space bar. Click the space bar again to go back. So I like to use that hotkey. I will be teaching you hotkeys. Why? Because it makes you faster. It makes you more professional. It makes you look like you really know what you're doing. And that's my goal. I want you to be really comfortable with the software. So you can bust out models like that. Okay, let's move along here. So you'll see this little uh, drop down menu here. If you click this, you've got modeling, rigging, animation, FX, rendering. And when I change it, I, I get a whole different menu up here. Okay? Um, but don't worry, for right now, for this course, we're going to stick with modeling. And we may get into a little animation and rigging, but for the most part, we're just going to concentrate on modeling here. All right? And we're going to concentrate on polygon modeling. We may get into some curves and surface modeling. And right now you're thinking, I don't even know what that means. It's okay. We're going to dive in and pretty soon you're going to be an expert. Let's go back to perspective mode. Now, think about it for a second. How could I make this large again? What's the hotkey? You may have guessed it. It's spacebar. I may uh, periodically remind you of hotkeys just because I want you to think and I want it in your mind and I want you to get it memorized as quick as possible. Okay, so what's the hotkey to zoom in on this object? Think about it. Focus, or F. Okay, so there we are. This is what we call a polygon model. What that means is our object is created from poly, or many-sided, faces. So each one of these is a polygon. This square right here, in fact, I'm going to show you how to interact with these individual components. Because it takes components to make up a model. So if I right click here and hold my right mouse button, I have these different modes here. So I have a face, I have a vertex, an edge, and these will start to make sense as I click through them. So let's click on face, and then you can see as I hover over individual components, I'm hovering over the individual polygons or faces. So when I say polygon or if I say face, I'm not talking about my face or your face, I'm talking about a polygonal face such as this. So I can click on them and I can select them or I can hold shift and select multiple polygons. I could also select vertices, the individual points connecting the polygons. Uh, and this will be important. You'll be using all these components during your modeling. And then finally, the edges. And you probably guessed what that is. It's the lines making up a side of a polygon. Let's go to a simpler model. I'm going to go ahead and go to object mode by right clicking, going to object mode, and I can select the whole thing. I'm going to delete it, and I'm going to make a cube polygon. Okay, I just wanted to work with a model that had a few less polygons on it as we get going here. So, many of you are going to want to know how to move this object around. Well, there's some hotkeys we're going to learn. I know we're learning a ton of hotkeys, but Believe me, you'll catch on very quickly to the hotkeys. So if I hit W right here, I can now move this around. And these arrows are color coded to represent 3D space. And this is going to be an important concept for you to understand. Some of you may know this from math class, but there are three axes, which are these little points in 3D space. This one would be considered the z-axis, this would be considered the x-axis, and this would be considered the y-axis. Y goes up and down, x goes left and right, and z goes back and forward in 3D space. These will be very important for you to know, so I will be referring to them quite a bit. Alright, let's 
that simple. We can move things around. And besides hotkeys, we can also use these buttons over here. I really, I really don't want you using these buttons right here. Why? Because when I'm building something out, I don't want to. I don't want you to stop every time and click over here and make a move and click over here. That's goofy, and that will take you forever, and you'll never become a good modeler. So you're going to want to learn these hotkeys. So the selection tool here is Q. Next up, this move tool is W, letting you move. Next up, what do you think it is? Rotate is E, and then I can rotate on individual axes, just like that. And then scale is R, and I can scale. And if you do forget the hotkeys, just keep in mind these little icons here, move, which is W, rotate, which is E, and scale which is R. Okay, notice I can hit those hotkeys right now and it'll select it. Nothing happens over here because I actually have to select the object. Okay, so now you know how to move the W key, rotate the E key, and scale with the R key. Okay, and what's the key to uh, select tool again? Q, perfect. All right, so they're right here in case you get lost.